Hello everybody, it's Italy back in another video. Today guys, I will talk about the Rafael Nadal. Unbelievable charging for one hour tennis lesson. Uh, this has been a topic in the social medias. This will be a short one, my tennis on roll because I don't, really don't have much time. But I just want to, because I'm at work, I just wanted to just come out here and just share my thoughts and just say that uh, you more money I believe you have, you more greedy you are. This is my personal opinion. I truly believe this is true. How in hell can you charge $150,000 for one hour tennis lesson like Nadal is doing in United States? This is to me just madness. Madness. First, first of all, man is from Nadal and Alcas, but mostly from Nadal because both of them are charging $150,000 for one hour tennis lessons with, two, with these two superstars. That Alcas is taking the same amount of money that Nadal, that makes him also very, very greedy. It really does because Nadal has a big name. He's an icon. He's a 22 times Grand Slam champion. So it is not, not that I am, not that I am uh, saying that it is okay that Nadal is taking that that big amount of money, and th that that is not that, that is absolutely not what I'm saying. But he, after all, has a name, has a huge name. Nadal. He's a legend. He's an icon. He's one of the greatest tennis players of all time. For sure, one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Not the greatest, but for sure, one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Alcaraz, with a two, he definitely is not one of the greatest tennis players of all time. At least not now. He definitely is not. And he's taking the same amount of money as Nadal. He also is taking $150,000 for one, one hour tennis lesson. Alcaraz, I somehow can understand somehow i not can not can understand i understand him more than i do nadal i'm gonna explain you why alcaraz is not he's rich also of course he's rich also but he for sure is not as close as rich as nadal is not even close not even close because of obvious reasons nadal is a legend icon has played this sport for over 20 years, has been successful for over 20 years in a tennis court, etc, etc. That has not been the case with Alcaraz. He has not been successful in tennis for over 20 years. So he's not, been, he's not even as close as rich as Nadal is. So that Alcaraz is, is taking that big amount of money, somehow I understand him more. But Nadal, to be this rich that he is, to take... How did a fifty thousand dollars for one hour tennis lesson with some random tennis fans in the United States? Rich tennis fans. Not everybody can pay that big amount of money for one hour tennis lesson. For sure, not you and me can do that. Nadal doing this. This makes me look. It is. I'm not angry at Nadal if he can't take, if, 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 if we have idiots, because according to me, these people who, who pay this much money for one hour tennis lesson, for me, these are big idiots. If you, Nadal just says, if we have idiots who pay this much of money, why not? I'm taking it. So I'm more disappointed in Nadal to do this kind of thing, to be this greedy. When we have people around the world who are starving for food, who are, who have un, un, who who doesn't have that big amount of money, I'm I don't want to speak of myself. I'm not that. Uh, I myself, I'm not I'm not that rich. I'm not poor. I'm not poor. As in my opinion, as as long as you have t food on the table, you are definitely not poor. So I'm not poor, but I'm not I'm not swimming in money. I have an unemployed wife, I work alone, four kids, etc, etc. But I'm not complaining, it is not about me this video. I'm just saying that Nadal is really greedy. And I'm disappointed at him. To take $150,000 for one hour tennis lesson. Rafa Nadal, you can do better than this, my tennis friend. 
even, even though you don't know who I am, I'm a loser according to you, but I'm really, really disappointed at you. Even disappointed on Alcas, but actually I'm more disappointed than Nadal. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, see you next time, peace.